Scorpios, welcome to my channel and today I will be doing the love and romance reading for you for the month of February and this is in honor of St. Valentine's. So um, I'm actually using the Celtic cross and this is appropriate for me I feel just because um, we're only dealing with one aspect of your life which is love and romance, okay? So let's get started here. Um, okay, so... hmm. This is basically the crowning energy or the heart of the matter regarding your love and romance. Um, so this card is in the reverse position. It deals with instability. And it's instability within your home, instability within your job environment, and a lot of uncertainty regarding, you know, how stable your life is, how stable your relationship is in general. So there are definitely questions regarding how viable and how feasible this relationship that you're in is long term. For those of you who are single, you're feeling the same way in that um, you almost want to like build yourself up and make yourself whole in order to start dating again and I just feel like there's a lot of upheaval there are a lot of changes going on with Scorpios within you know the past few months so um, it, it might be a little difficult trying to um, trying to like create a new life for yourself in terms of dating and bringing in another person into your life when you don't know the direction of your life or it might be really difficult to make plans with that partner that you're in a relationship with when there's so much like uncertainty in your life I feel that yeah there, there's just a lot of um, instability and upheaval and I feel this is come this came out too for the monthly um, tarot reading there's just a lot of anxiety but in this case it's more instability surrounding your home surrounding your work environment surrounding your finances and your relationships so for those of you who are in a relationship I just feel that um you're not entirely sure if you want to progress with this relationship even um the energy that is crossing you is um this five of cups here and this is somebody that is you know crying over spilled milk so situations have um, for those who are um, coupled anyways there might be new information coming to light where you're looking at your partner in a different light where you're questioning the uh, long-term commitment in this relationship you're questioning whether or not you should walk away from this or how you can recover from this um, and how you can rebuild this relationship if you're still you know wanting to be with that person for those who are single I just feel that um, you're emerging from you're emerging from a painful past. That's the only way I can put it. You're emerging from something kind of um, kind of regretful, either your actions or the other person's actions in your past. So I, I feel that it's affecting your current relationship. It's affecting your ability to trust, I feel, just because, you know, the sneaky man is also next coming up. Um, in your past position, I do have this Ten of Cups. So for those of you who um, have, this is the the recent past, and if we're if we're dealing with like a love relationship, um, I just feel that for a lot of you, um, for some reason, you know, there was a really loving, a very uh, emotionally fulfilling relationship in your past that for some reason didn't work out, and there's nothing wrong with it. You know, things just don't work out. It's um, things run its course, and then you know it's time for you to move on and learn your next lesson. So even though it it, it looked like a very splendid relationship in which everyone is happy, in which you know partners are on equal footing and everyone took great care of each other, I feel that for some reason you know that relationship didn't last. You've had to move on, and you're pining for that perfect union again which is affecting your current relationship for those who are coupled for those of you who are newly single you're loving you know the single life you're really enjoying it and you're actually um, making the most of it I feel so that's great for you um, in terms of what's coming in okay this is the sneaky man card and I don't really like this card especially in a love reading so in terms of what's coming in I would be really really careful about um, P 
people coming into your dating sphere for those who are single because um, I feel that you know he's coming in the reverse position so if you're meeting somebody who's lying they're not very sophisticated and you can basically catch them on it when they lie for those of you who are in committed relationships um, you know it is mercury in retrograde and I did mention that uh, mercury in retrograde is notorious for liars cheaters the thieves to get uh, caught so um, with the justice card here too I would definitely say you know um, it's it's the prime time for them to get caught and they get caught for good reasons okay so don't worry too much about it uh, the truth will be revealed so that's actually coming in and I, I just feel really strongly that um, someone in your miss has been lying to you if they haven't been caught yet then um, they're going to get caught and then this is somebody that's coming in in the very near future so just be very discriminate about who you get involved with I think that's just good advice in general okay um, as for your hopes and aspirations we have the two of cups here and this is you know the the ideal union the perfect union so for those who are in a committed relationship right now you're hoping to have that union but you don't really see it happening you like you have to be honest with yourself I, I don't see it happening so you're looking at a situation in which you already know that it's not meeting all of your needs and all of your expectations so you you might be comparing this situation with a past situation and knowing that oh like you're kind of regretful that you left this behind for some reason because this new relationship is you know unstable first of all and the people that the person that you're involved with in that that marriage or in that new relationship they're just not meeting your expectations they're either not meeting you halfway or they just don't live up to your expectations and you want it more so um, yeah th that's just the, it, what I'm feeling um, for those who are uh, single you know you either enjoy the single life a lot therefore you don't really want to get in a relationship and it might you know disturb your um, your freedom like you, you feel that is restrictive okay and then for those who are um, dating again, you know, you do want to meet that perf that person. You want to have the perfect union again. But you just feel that all the people you're encountering are like liars, cheaters, thieves. Therefore, your hopes are dashed that you will never ever meet that person. So it's not an overly optimistic card, but I feel that, you know, things happen for a reason. So no matter how good they are or no matter how good they were in the past, um relationships run its course you run their course and um we we learn and we move on okay so don't pine over spilled milk don't look towards the past when you want to work on your current relationship because that's counterproductive in terms of your subconscious this is something that um that is basically it affects the situation that you might or might not be aware of and we do have the two of swords and any two energy and it's interesting the two of swords and the two of cups any two energy that comes in is all about balance okay it's about balancing your needs and your partner's needs it's about um in this situation though it, it's in the reverse position so i feel like um you are undecided for a long time about what you want to do with this current relationship for those who are coupled and I feel like this month is going to be the impetus for you to make some changes to I feel that you've already reached a decision about what you want to do with this relationship and this month is the month that you have to decide because you don't really have a choice and at the same time um, I just feel with the two of cups in reverse you feel like it's not meeting your expectations therefore you need to move on and that's just the energy I'm getting um, so you know really assess I, I feel like you've already made up your mind but fully assess you know things wait until the end of the mercury retrograde you might change your mind I don't know you might see things a little more clearly and rather than walk away you might want to fix the situation okay um, as for the spiritual advice from the universe, um, I do have the King of Swords here, and this man, 
or woman is showing up in the upright position. So um, it's asking you to be very objective and very blunt with your communication. So for those who are in a uh, an established relationship and the relationship is not itself is not working out for some reason, be really honest with your partner. Talk about it. And um, in the spirit of finding a solution to move forward, okay? So if you're not feeling it and they're not feeling it, it's best to part ways, okay? So this man is very decisive. And he asks you to be, as well, be very decisive. And I know this is opposing energy because you're a water sign and this is an air sign. But um, they like decisiveness. And it's also um, honesty as well. And I feel... You know, we have the lovers in reverse. We have the seven of swords in reverse, two of cups in reverse. So I feel that uh, there has been a lot of lies and miscommunication. I, I don't think it's miscommunication. There has been a lot of lies and deceits, okay, in this situation, in your romance and love sector. There has been a lot of lies and deceit. Um, so it's time to cut that out. And it's time to approach, you know, like, um, to approach things with honesty, okay? So talk to your spouse, talk to your partner, talk to your potential partner, and be a little honest, okay? As for your external environment, um, we do have the lovers in the reverse position. Um, so already there is a lot of abundance within your mist. However, it's in the... Um, upright position so people might not be fully honest when they tell you they're single and then you try to pursue them for those of you who are single um, the people you meet might tell you they're single when in fact they're not and then you get into this situation where the outcome is that somebody lies to somebody else or if you're in a <clears throat> in a committed relationship you tell others that you're single when you're really not and then you end up here or, if you're in an established relationship, um, you might be tempted. You know, this is also a card of temptation when it is showing up in the reverse position like this. You might be tempted to stray from your partner because you feel like it's not working out in the first place. But you don't really have the decency to tell them that um, it's over before you dip elsewhere, you know, because that's just bad karma right there. Um... As for, let's see, this is um, your hopes and fears. Okay, so I, I feel that um, this is mainly for single Scorpios, okay? You're hoping, you're hoping to achieve this, okay? And in the process, you're afraid of getting betrayed, you're afraid of being stabbed in the back, and then you're afraid of people that you meet in general that are coming in. So it, it's like a... A vicious cycle in which it's also a self-fulfilling prophecy because um, this is so prominent in your mist <clears throat> that um, you're afraid it's going to happen in which somebody lies or somebody cheats and then you end up being hurt and then it's also a situation where if you're in a committed relationship um, you're not getting out of this fast enough and you feel the relationship deteriorating so you feel somebody is going to stray okay or you feel that um, for those of you who there, who are in situation where there has been infidelity in the past, um, and you're still trying to work at things, and you're st still trying to fix it, you feel that um, you really can fix it when I think you can't, because um, you can't recover from the Ten of Swords, okay? It's showing up in the reverse position. So for those of you who have been in uh, a relationship in which you or the other party has been unfaithful or have been lying and cheating, and you're hoping to overcome it and work together and trying to, you know, uh, rebuild that relationship and trying to work things out, I just don't see it having a positive outcome, especially for this month, but I just don't see it having that outcome. So um, just be honest with yourself, okay? Is it really worth salvaging when someone betrays you? So um, I don't think it is. I, I, I honestly don't think it is. Just the way the cards were laid out for you this month. Um, <clears throat> okay, so in the outcome position, the first card I have is justice in the reverse position. So Scorpios, um, 
if there has been a lying, you know, or cheating spouse, just know they will be caught, okay? And then likewise, if you have been lying and cheating, just know things are not going to be in your favor this month, and I'm sorry to say. Um, and for those of you who are single, um, the people you meet are going to be um, not the most dateable groups of people. So I want you to be really aware of that. And I don't know why um, Libras are showing up all over for all the other signs too. And Libras keep showing up in reverse. So if you're meeting, if you're getting out there and dating, um, most likely, likely you're going to attract a, a Libra. And be really, really careful about Libras this month. Um, just because, you know, the <clears throat> the Justice card is also the card of Libra. It is showing up in the outcome position. So that is strongly indicative of a Libra coming into your life for those who are single and looking or for those who are dating but for some reason are looking. So there is a Libra. And getting involved with that Libra would be a huge mistake because we see this playing out here in which they're not faithful or they're not uh, honest with you. And then also in the outcome position, I do have the Fool card here too. I pulled that out just because this one showed up in reverse and I wanted a little more closure for you. Just due to all these rough cards here. So I have the Fool in reverse. And um, this is an energy to tell you to be careful. Okay, be very, very scrup scrupulous, yes. And also discerning. And um, just be very, very careful. Um, cover your cover your butt. Like, if you're going to do something shady, <laughs> then, um, make sure you have an alibi. Make sure you, make sure your alibi is foolproof. And also, um, cover your bases because things are coming to light this month. I'm very sorry for this reading. I just feel really, really horrible. But, um, as well, you know, the only person that is coming up upright in this position is this King of Swords. So, if there is an... Mm, <laughs> I can't even say Gemini because the lovers are in reverse and that's a Gemini card. This is so interesting because the, in, the, the energy is basically... Um, it, it basically uh, parallels the energy for your monthly reading, which is, you know, to avoid the Geminis and the Libra. So, okay... <laughs> if there is an air sign, so the only air sign left that is, you know, honest is the Aquarius. And Aquarius are very honest, actually. So, if there is an, an Aquarius in your midst, for those who are coupled or single, and they're giving you advice, I would say take their advice because they're the only ones showing up upright in this uh, spread. So, take their advice and... um. You know, honesty is everything to this person, and honesty will make your life so much more manageable because this is very toxic, very deceitful energy that I'm just getting with this spread, okay? So it's supposed to be a, a, an optimistic love reading, you know, for in honor of Valentine's Day, but it's coming to this, and I'm, I'm really sorry. I don't know what to do, and I try to pull out another card, and then it's the full in reverse, which is telling you to be careful. So on that note, that's how we're going to end. So for those of you who have not done anything wrong to anybody, and you don't know why this is coming out like this, I don't either. What I would suggest is um, just be very careful about people this month, and this is just... Um, also for your monthly reading, so be careful of Libras and Geminis, okay? Aquarius are fine, they're, they're fine. Um, Aquari uh, Gemini and Libras, be careful of them, okay? And then don't take too many risks, especially with, um, with people, because they're very dishonest with you at this point, okay? So, that's my advice for you this month, um, stay home, stay home. <laughs> so I'm very sorry for this sad reading. Um, but I do hope that you have a um, wonderful Valentine's Day and let me know how things work out for you. Let me know how this plays out in your life as well. I'm very curious to find out. And um, leave me comments too and let me know. And like, subscribe, and share. I will be back next week for your weekly reading. Thank you so much for your time and for watching. Have a good February.